CTC News. Welcome to CTC News, where I will be reporting the latest, greatest, and not so greatest news around the ends of Manchester United. So without a further ado, let's get to the first story. Onana to focus on United. According to Rob Dawson of ESPN, Andre Onana is reluctant to take time away from Manchester United to play in the African Cup of Nations for Cameroon in January. Onana dramatically retired from international football after a disagreement with current head coach Rigo Bersan regarding his risky playing style. In their final qualifier against Burundi, however, Onana was called up and he also is scheduled to play against Russia and Senegal during the October international break. Do you believe that the Cameroonian goalkeeper should stay or perform for his nation at AFCON? Potentially having a break away from his club side could rejuvenate, especially if his poor form continues. So Jim Ratcliffe and his team are considering purchasing a 25% stake of Manchester United with a plan to take full control from the Glazers in 2026. I know. Ratcliffe's latest revision would see Joel and Avram Glazer remain in full control of the club while Ratcliffe initially adopts the role of a minority stakeholder providing financial assistance for stadium and training facility refurbishments. With this saga still ongoing, 11 months after the initial announcement seeking strategic alternatives, do you see a conclusion anytime soon? Or will the current owners of Manchester United stay firm on their £6 billion demands? Manchester United are investigating a number of Galatasaray fans who appear to have home end tickets at Old Trafford during their Champions League game on Tuesday. A large section of the away fans gathered in the Sir Alex Ferguson and Sir Bobby Charlton stands and were seen making their way towards the away section to join in with the post-match celebrations. Manchester United believe that touting and sales for official channels to UK-based Galatasaray fans was the cause of this issue, as the only way for home supporters to buy Champions League tickets are through the club's official ticketing portal. UEFA rules state that the visiting association or club must be allocated 5% of the total stadium capacity as tickets for their supporters in the dedicated sector of the stadium. This sector of the stadium must be capable of being segregated from other sectors. The location of away supporters within this sector must be agreed in advance by police and public authorities. And that concludes this episode's CTC News segment. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the reporting news today and any more that follows. But until the next time, chase the chaos. Thank you.